has set the city on fire. He is persecuting Christians. Their crime? Proclaiming a king higher than Caesar. While Rome burns, Nero fiddles. And his soldiers attack anyone under suspicion. Children are separated from their parents. Many are left alone with no homes. Run, hurry! Running for their lives. Hurry, everyone! Then, an early Christian leader and his wife, Helena, have rescued four children. And as these orphans search for their parents, they will become known as the Story Keepers. strong we will be heard now it's up to us to tell the stories now it's up to us to carry on his word we'll march on and on and proudly keep the stories we will hold the torch and keep its burning flame Are you okay in there? I'll be much better when we can see Miriam again. How much further to your bakery? We're almost there, Samuel. Just sit tight. Sit tight? Is he joking? Oh! Oh! One minute you're a first-class citizen, the next minute you're traveling freight. That's what we get for raising our daughter as a Christian. We've got company, Ben. Who are you? Where are you going? Uh, I'm a baker, sir, and we're off to the millers with a load of grain. Grain, huh? We'll see about that. <gasps> <laughs> All right, on your way. What's this? I believe it's goodbye. Yeah! <laughs> soldiers search for Christians, Ben has turned his bakery into a hiding place. You are Nero's greatest fear, his own soldier turning against him. Tacticus, you're in grave danger. You too, Miriam. We need to plan your escape to Shamadar. Now, Selim's boat will be in port next week right near this, uh... Um, carrot. Oops. Sorry. Well, uh, once he arrives, we'll sneak you down to the port under the cover of night. Till then, you should be safe here. I wish this thunder would stop. I know what you mean, Anna. Justin, do you think it's raining where Mom and Dad are? Marcus. Don't worry, Marcus. We'll find them one day. 
And until we do, we'll just keep looking. Really? Like a shepherd looks for his lost sheep. Don't worry, Cyrus. We'll find your parents and their circus, too. Shh. Good night, my little lambs. I'm that bad boy known as Nero. I'm the Empire's evil hero. Other gods amount to zero. Who would disagree? Though my singing's fair to middling, I won't stop hype diddle diddling. Rome can burn. I'll just keep fiddling. Glory be to me. I'll take the glory. Who disagree? So dictatory. Glory be to me. Follow me, don't be a whiner. Major leaders are so minor. Next to Nero's, none's diviner in all modesty. Though some ingrates may abhor me, I insist all Rome adore me. Thou shalt have no gods before me. Glory be to me. I'm full of glory and modesty. No guts, no glory. Glory be to me. Though I'm cruel and mean indeed, I will tax you till you bleed, and this weak breathing is free. Christian tales, I don't enjoy them. They who tell them, I destroy them. Time they bow to me. I'm Mr. Glory, so glory be. I've got your story, glory. Miriam, Tacticus, hide. Justin, you and the others know what to do. Squeeze in there! Don't worry, I'm sure it's... Uh... Ah! Tracus, Bracus, that's no way to greet a customer. It's okay, everyone. It's just Antonius the Miller with the delivery. Uh, sorry about that, just got them. Raised by wolves and all. Quite a bargain, actually. If I could just get them to stop chewing on my sandals. Now that six bags of Christians at... Oh, my! Don't tell me you're hiding Christians in here again. As a matter of fact... I said don't tell me! Now I have to charge you more. Uh, delivery to Christians. High risk, you know. Antonius, we all have to do our part. Oh, very well. I'll waive the fee this time. Ninety sesterces, please. Come along, boys. Enough milling around. I don't trust him, Ben. The way he carried that money out of here, he reminded me of Judas. Who's Judas? He's the disciple who turned Jesus over to his enemies, Marcus. That's right, Zach. I've been meaning to tell you children about him. You see, it was just before the great feast of the Passover. A group of priests became angered by Jesus' teachings. They heard that he claimed to be God, which was a crime worthy of death. And they were afraid he would cause riots and the Romans would punish all of the Jewish people. He had to be stopped. But how? Jesus was far too popular to arrest publicly. But they thought it better that he should die than to risk punishment of all the people by the Roman army. One of their spies told them that Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, was willing to betray Jesus to them. They agreed to pay him a sum of money to do it. Upon hearing they'd agreed to his terms, Judas sent word back to the Jewish council saying he would alert them when there would not be any crowds around Jesus. I can't believe one of Jesus' friends would do that to him. You don't think anyone will turn us in, do you, Ben? Uh, I certainly hope not, Cyrus. 
But we can't be too careful. Ben! It's Darius. Open up. Ben, the city's crawling with guards. They're going door to door looking for Tacticus and Miriam. If they find them here, you'll all be killed. Open up in the name of Nero. Tacticus, Miriam, we've got to get you two to the catacombs right away. <gasps> but they'll need food, water, blankets. Right. Helena, you and the boys stay and get the supplies together. Zack can bring them when you're ready. Hello, Miller. Ah, uh, hello, sir. C -c can I get you something? Flour? Wheat? Breath freshener? How about some Christians? Oh, I'm afraid I'm fresh out. Really? This morning I encountered some on the way here. Little fat man and his helpers. Help me find them and there's a reward for you. A reward? Yes. Your life. Ah, well, since you put it that way, I might know something. <laughs> well, uh, this is it. <clears throat> At least until Salim's boat gets into port. Well, I, I know it's not much, but... Uh, what was that? Is, is everyone okay? <laughs> I'll say. Right. Good. Well, if this is going to be our home for a while, I suggest we make it more comfortable. Tacticus? <laughs> By the time Zack gets here with the supplies, this place will be fit for a king. <laughs> Well, that should hold them. Wait, you forgot Leo and Theo. Who? My lions. They don't need your old lions in the catacombs, Marcus. Uh-huh. They might get scared in there. Leo and Theo always look after me when I get scared. That's very thoughtful, Marcus. Food and clothing are important, but sometimes we need more than that. Jesus had a friend named Mary who knew this. And although a lot of people didn't like her, she was very special to Jesus. One night, Jesus and his disciples were having dinner at a friend's house. Mary anointed him with Doesn't oil. Doesn't Jesus know what kind of woman she is? This is no place for a woman like that. Leave her alone. Why do you want to upset her? It is a fine thing she has done. There are always poor among you. You can help them whenever you want. But... I'm not here forever. And Jesus said what that woman did would be told all over the world. Just like we're doing now? That's right, Marcus. Open up in the name of Nero. Uh-oh, we've got to move these supplies. The soldiers will get suspicious. I think with some help from Zack, we could start digging a well. Good. In the meantime, why don't we all have a seat? I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, I've worked up quite a hunger. All I have is bread and a little wine, but uh, it should be enough. I wonder if this is how Jesus felt on the night of his last meal with his friends. I hope this won't be our last meal, Tacticus. Of course not, but it's my first meal as a wanted man. And Ben, didn't you say that Jesus knew he was a wanted man on that night of the Passover? Yes, that's right. But he knew more than that, which gave the disciples quite a surprise. You see, they had all gathered in the upper room of a man's house in Bethany. One of you, sitting here, having supper, will hand me over to the Jewish leaders. Hand him over? What's he talking about? It's not me, is it? I am not the one, am I? Who would do that to you? It is one of you. He is here. It will be a terrible thing for whoever hands me over to be killed. It would be better for him if he had never been born. That night, Jesus did something new. He took some bread, and after he gave thanks and broke it into pieces, 
he gave it to the disciples and said, This is my very self, my body broken for you. Then he took a cup of wine, gave thanks again, and gave it to the disciples. This is my very self, my blood. I will die. Then all people will know God loves everyone, everywhere. Be careful, Zach. Don't worry, I'll stick to the back roads. Open up in the name of Nero. Hurry, go! Everyone, business as usual. Aaron Marcus. <gasps> you must be Helena. So very pleased to meet you. Your friend the Miller sends his regards. But we've done nothing. Mm. Sir, the baker's not here. No matter. He soon will be. Listen up, you Christian dogs! If any of you sees your miserable little baker, tell him he has until the sun sets to show his face. For his bakery will burn, with his wife and children still in it. <gasps> and if you're not back by sundown, he'll burn the bakery down with Helena and the boys still in it. We've got to get them out of there. Nihilus has the place completely surrounded. Then I have to give myself up. Ben, you can't. I have no choice. Maybe you do. Anna, I'm telling you, there's no way on Earth to get near that bakery. But we're not on Earth anymore, Zach. We're under it. Tom? Huh? Come on! Zach! Where are you going? I'm going to make that Miller pay. He betrayed you, I know it. Zach, no, come back. Look, you little brats. The baker's wife is out in that kitchen worried sick about you. Tell me where he is and I'll let you go back to her. No. You're Shh, bad. Marcus, shh. The boy is right, Capella. Show some respect. These are children, after all. Citizens of Rome. Yeah. Not only that, they're orphans. How did you know that? Oh, I know all about you. It's only right you should feel some loyalty to the man who took you in. But what you don't realize is... That man is a traitor to Rome. That's not true! Not only that, he's a liar. He's not trying to find your parents. It's just a trick to keep you here, working in his bakery. But I could really help you. He can. He's one of the most powerful men in Rome. That's right. I could find your real parents. I could make you a family again. All you have to do is tell me where the baker is. Think about it. We'll never make it at this rate. We have to. You! I suppose you're surprised I'm not trapped in the bakery, like the rest of them. Trapped in the bakery? What are you talking about? Nihilus is going to burn it, with Helena and the boys still in there. I don't know what you're talking about. Dracus, Bracus! You can lie to me, but you can't lie to my sword! Is there a problem, Master? No, this young man was just leaving. Uh, I don't know how you can live with yourself, Miller. I know I couldn't. Follow him and report back to me. Mm -hmm. What is it, Zach? 
Atlas has the place completely surrounded. More oil! I want this to be a fire even Nero would be proud of. Ah, that didn't take long. Well, sir, we thought about it, and well, we do want to find our real parents. Good, good. And we decided the only fair thing to do would be to put your hmm? generous offer to a vote. All of those in favor of telling this lying no. evil man who burnt down half of Rome and is now pretending to be our friend, where Ben is, say aye. All those opposed? No. 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 It's unanimous. <laughs> Fine. Let's see your Ben save you now. Oh, boys. I'm so proud of you. Why? We just did what anybody else would do. Anybody except for that Miller. I can't believe he turned Ben in. Yeah, he's just like Judas. You know, Cyrus, Judas wasn't the only one who let Jesus down. Really? That's right. After their last supper together, Jesus and his disciples walked to the Hill of Olives. It was on the road to the village where they were staying. You are all going to run away. You will all let me down. I'll never do such a thing. I won't let you down. Peter, before the rooster crows twice tomorrow, you will have said three times that you do not even know me. I'll die for you first. I'll never let you down. Nor I. We'll stay with you no matter what. No matter what. I would. I'll die for him. Jesus knew his days were numbered and was worried that even Peter would abandon him. Well, he went into the catacombs. Looks like they're trying to dig their way into the bakery. Really? Show me where. We should be getting close now. Just a few more feet and... Baker, I know you're out there. This is your last chance to save your family. Soon, they die. Don't worry, Ben. We'll make it. Oh. What is it? It's a boulder. Oh, no. I knew the coward wouldn't come. Board it up and burn it down. Board it up and burn it down! Helena, what are we gonna do? Shh, listen. It's Ben! Everybody dig! All right, Baker! You asked for this! She's right, you know. You! At least not with these puny shovels. Trackus, Brackus! Antonius, but you... I, I mean... Your young friend was right. I couldn't live with myself if I let this monster do this to you. God bless you, friend. No, Ben. God forgive me. Please, gently. What do we do now, Ben? I don't know, Anna. But one thing's for sure. We can no longer stay in Rome. I don't know what happened, sir. They're gone. That can't be. Sir, look. There's a hole. I don't care if you have to dig up all of Rome. You find that baker. Find him! Sir, the Christians caved the tunnels in behind them. I don't want excuses! 
What are you looking at? Well done, Capella. There'll be no escape this time. Excellent work, everyone. Another hour and we'll break for a meal. Ben, how much longer do we have to stay down here? Just five more days, Marcus. Then Salim's boat will take us to our new life in Shemadar. What's in Shemadar? Freedom, Marcus. Freedom. It's an oasis that sparkles like a jewel in the desert. It's a place where the Romans aren't in charge. And because travelers come from all over to meet and trade, from Shemadar, we can take our stories to the whole world. Would you like that? Ben, come see our new defense system. How does it work, Zach? You just pull this rope and the boulder rolls down, blocking our escape tunnel from any intruders. Excellent work, Zach. Uh, say, have you seen Justin? Right over there. Ah, Justin, I've been looking for you. <sighs> just finishing up, Ben. You know, your 13th birthday isn't far off. I think you're ready to take on an important new job. Really? What is it? A courier? A scout? A spy? It's all of those. A courier because you're delivering something very important. A scout because you're taking people into new territory. A spy because it must be done in secret and at great risk. What is it, Ben? I'd like you to tell the story at tonight's meeting. You want me to tell the story? Why not? You're one of the best students I've ever had. You know these stories backwards and forwards. But not well enough to tell everyone. Why can't you tell the story? I could, but there may come a time when I can't. If the stories of Jesus are to be passed on, then all of us must become story keepers. But Justin, you've told me these stories lots of times. That's different, Marcus. You're my brother. Justin? Uh, I... Uh... Well, I, uh... What's he doing I, up there? uh... Oh, I... Oh, well... I, uh... Oh. Justin! Uh, Justin! Uh, I guess uh, Justin wasn't quite ready. Uh, <laughs> uh, of course, uh, neither were the disciples when Jesus said one of them would betray him. Justin, it's all right. But I let Ben down. He understands. You're just not ready, that's all. I'll never be ready. Sure you will. You just have to remember. This is the hill we choose to climb. This is our reason and our rhyme. Follow along, all will be well. Telling the stories we must tell. You'll have the strength, you'll take your part. You'll find you know each line by heart One day you'll break out of your shell Telling the stories we must tell When you're scared, never give in Trust in the words you come to know Just take a breath, give them your voice And you'll hear just You sound just like Ben when he started out. You know, the first time he told a story, he was shaking so badly, I thought we were having an earthquake. <laughs> really? Come on, let's go back and listen. 
as Jesus and the disciples walked up the hill of olives until they reached a garden called Gethsemane. Sit here until I've prayed. Telling the others to stay, Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him into the garden. Well, what's wrong, Master? I'm brokenhearted. My soul is full of grief. Stay here and keep watch. Abba, Father, you can do anything. Don't let me go through this terrible suffering. If it is possible, rescue me. But I will do what you want, not what I want. The man I kiss is the one you want. Arrest him and guard him closely when you take him away. Still sleeping? The time has come. He's here. Get up. Let's go. The one who betrays me is here. Rabbi. The disciples couldn't understand why Jesus did not what? try to escape. What do we do. Stop. swords and clubs to take me like a common criminal? I spoke day after day in the temple in front of everyone. You didn't arrest me then. And then they led him away out of the garden. Don't worry, Justin. You'll tell the story next time. Hmm. There they are. Oh, run. run! Remember, Nihilus wants them alive. Everybody into the cave. to the next candle. Where'd they go? Over there! Now, Ben! Help! Marcus! He's still in there! I've got it, Ben! Go! Marcus, jump! Justin, come on! Hurry, it's not going to hold! Uh-oh. <laughs> well, if it isn't Ben the Baker, so nice to meet you at last. Imagine, one of the Christian underground leaders a baker. Maybe now the bread in the dungeons will improve. <laughs> Large tongue, Senator. May I see you outside? These tongues are unevenly glazed. Who sent you out with this tray? Helena, thank God you're all right. I'm so glad you came. I promised Ben I would if ever he were in trouble. Is there any word of him? I'm afraid he's in Nero's darkest, most guarded prison. There's no hope of breaking him out, but perhaps I can help from the inside. Thank you, Petronius. Water! We need water! Tell me where Tacticus and the other Christians are hiding. We don't betray our friends. Perhaps thirst will change your mind. Philo, I don't want to die. Quiet, Vasilis. Everyone is scared sometimes, Vasilis. Why, even Peter was scared after Jesus' arrest at Gethsemane. He was? Yes. He was so frightened that when Jesus was taken to see Caiaphas, the high priest, Peter followed behind, afraid to be seen. P 
Peter stayed in the courtyard with the servants, warming himself by the fire. Caiaphas questioned Jesus about his teachings. Witnesses told lies about Jesus, but these men could not even make their stories fit together. Why don't you answer? Why don't you defend yourself? Why do people say all these things against you? Once and for all, are you the Messiah, the great deliverer? Are you God's son? I am. Ah! We don't need any more witnesses. You have heard the terrible thing he has said. They all voted that Jesus was guilty and should die. You were with Jesus, that man from Nazareth. I don't know what you're talking about. This man is one of those who followed Jesus. No, I'm not. Of course you're one of them. You come from Galilee. We can tell by your voice. I swear, I don't know this Jesus you're talking about. Before the rooster crows twice tomorrow, you will say three times that you don't even know me. I never betray Helena and the others. Me neither. I know, boys. I know. No! Helena, the place is filled with thieves and smugglers. Who better to smuggle us out of Rome than a smuggler? Come on! <laughs> Zach, you watch the kids. I'll be right back. Don't worry, Anna. My dad used to hire circus hands at places like this. Just act natural, and nobody will bother you. What? How much for the girl? I need a house slave. Sorry, she's not for sale. Huh? Whoa! I say she is. Actually, she's going cheap. A real bargain at only 200 sesterces. Shake? Oh, uh, excuse the leprosy. Achoo! Achoo! An old trick my dad taught me. <laughs> hey, where's my money? <laughs> but that's three times the going rate. With all your respect, shipping fugitives is risky business. Fortunately for you, I'm the best. Very well, but we'll need to leave tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? That's impossible. We'll never be ready. I thought you were the best. All right, then. We'll sail at midnight. But don't be late. Ben, what happened to Jesus after Peter lied about knowing him? He was taken before Pilate. His courage was amazing. Silence, Baker. As long as he deludes them with these stories, they think they'll be saved. But take the Baker away, and the flock is lost. Our faith is stronger than that. But not stronger than Rome. Soon you'll know the wrath of Nero, but first, you'll know mine. The Praetorians will find Tacticus and the others. Why should we die too? We can't turn them in. Philo was right. Ben said we don't betray our friends. Well, Ben's not here. But if he was, he'd tell us to be brave, just like, just like Jesus was before Pilate. What do you know of that story? I, I, um... Just tell it to me, only louder. I, I know that Caiaphas, the high priest, had made up his mind that Jesus was dangerous. He decided it would be better to execute him than for everyone to be punished by the Romans. But only Pilate, the Roman governor, had the power to order an execution. The religious leaders told Pilate that Jesus called himself a king. Are you king of the Jews? Those are your words. The temple leaders brought many charges against Jesus. 
They said he was raising a rebellion. He told people not to pay taxes to the Emperor. They said he wanted to start a war with Rome. Pilate was surprised that Jesus said nothing. Haven't you anything to say? Why don't you answer these charges? At the feast, Pilate used to set free any one prisoner that the crowd asked for. At that time, there were some rebels in prison. Their leader was a man called Barabbas. We ask for Barabbas! We want Barabbas! We ask for Barabbas! Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Would you like me to set the king free? Then what shall I do with the man you call king? Nail him to a cross! But what awful things has he done? released Barabbas, then ordered that Jesus be flogged. Jesus never faltered. He never gave way. Justin, you did it. You told the story. I did, <laughs> didn't I? Ben's gonna be so proud of you. This will never work. It has to. Oh! Rowing slaves for Senator Petronius, huh? This isn't signed by Nihilus. Nihilus? Since when does he have... Fine. I mean, fine. You can explain our delay to Nero himself. The senator's seeing him tonight. Let him through. <sighs> ben the Baker, son of Simon of Galilee. You are accused of being a Christian leader, of inciting anarchy and rebellion, and of... We all know what the charges are. Treason, treachery, sabotage. <laughs> You find this amusing, Senator? Yes, surely this is a joke. Are we to believe this pudgy pastry maker is the daring rebel who has outsmarted Rome's bravest soldiers? I doubt he can bend down to tie his own sandals. <laughs> <laughs> a word of advice, taste less, bake more. <laughs> I tell you, this baker is the man. My dear Nihilus, you'll make Caesar the laughing stock of palaces from Gaul to Egypt. Release the baker at once. Wait! Caesar, ask him. Just ask him if he's a Christian leader. Sire, is that necessary? Why embarrass the court any further? Oh, formalities. Very well then, Baker. Are you or are you not a Christian leader? Yes, I am. I knew it! I knew it all the time! Despite the preaching of our gullible Senator Petronius, take the bacon away and kill him! Move him out. Let's go! We'll miss the tide! No! We're waiting for Ben! Helena, I'm afraid I have bad news. Ben's been sentenced to death. <gasps> he has two days. Don't worry, Helena. We'll think of something. We always do. Woman, we must cast off now! We're staying to help Ben. Then so are we. No, Tacticus. You're in more danger than any of us. We'll meet you in Malta, then leave for Shemhadar together. Take good care of Anna for us! We better be going. 
the task ahead of us is nearly impossible. You there, come out or taste this cold steel. Friend or foe? <coughs> Fortunately for you, friend. An old friend. <gasps> Zemo? Cyrus, it's really you. It's Zemo! From my parents' circus. Imagine their joy when they see you're still alive. They'll be in Rome tomorrow night. Anna, Helena, did you hear? My parents are coming to Rome! That's great, Cyrus. Cyrus, what is it? What's wrong? It's Ben. He's been like a father to me since the Great Fire. And now he's in prison. I tell you this. If the man who's kept Cyrus safe all this time is in danger, then Cyrus's parents, the great Saban and Risa, will stop at nothing until he's safe. And neither will I. There's more hope tonight than I had expected. Come on, everyone. We've got plans to make. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Yes, one I'd hoped we'd never see again. What? But Rome's the most wonderful city on Earth. You must forgive my wife. Our only son was killed in the Great Fire. I... I'm sorry. Don't worry. As soon as we meet up with our friends, we'll leave Rome and never again return. Seven? Riza! Huh? Good old Zemo. We should have known he'd be here to greet us. Come, we'll go ashore just long enough to say hello. Mom? Dad? Cyrus! <gasps> My son! Oh, I've missed you so much. We return to Rome in hopes of finding our old circus friends. Still, we never dreamed we'd... Oh, Cyrus. I missed you both so much. I just wish Ben could meet you. And so he will. I'll not let the man who took care of my son die in some dungeon. Cyrus is lucky to have such fine parents, but you mustn't get involved. Helen is right. It's too dangerous. We appreciate your concern, but we aren't leaving until Ben is free. I told you they'd want to help. Wanting to help and actually helping are two different things. What do a couple of ex-circus clowns know about breaking into the Imperial Stockade? Enough to know it won't be easy. But fortunately, your clowns have friends in high places. Continue to starve the others, but see the baker gets plenty of food. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint the lions. Just because the baker must die doesn't mean you all have to. Give me the names of your Christian leaders and you'll go free. Maybe these people know something you don't, Capella. That some things are worse than dying. That's where you're wrong. Nothing is worse than death. A lesson you Christians should have learned when we executed your Jesus. What do you know about Jesus? I know he died like a common criminal. You see, boy, I was there. Faster, you. Behold, the king of the Jews! In Jerusalem, 
Executions were held at a place called Golgotha, or Skull Hill. Two other prisoners, guerrilla leaders, were to be executed also, because death by crucifixion is a particularly painful experience. Jesus was offered wine mixed with myrrh, a spice to deaden the pain. hung a sign on the cross, King of the Jews. Some gambled for his clothes. So this is the one who would pull down the temple. If you're so powerful, why don't you get down from that cross? <laughs> if it's true you saved others, why not save yourself? Even the religious leaders mocked him. Let the so-called Messiah get down from that cross. Then we'd believe him. And so it went. He hung there for hours. As the crowd taunted and teased him, and then it was over. Why don't you tell the rest of the story, Capella? What rest? He died. Yes, but it was no ordinary death, was it? Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they're doing. If you are the Messiah, why don't you save yourself and us? Quiet. We're guilty and deserve to die. But this man has done nothing wrong. Remember me when you are king. You'll be with me in heaven today. Mother, take my friend John as your son. And John, take my mother as your mother. My God, why have you left me alone? He's calling Elisha. Let's see if Elijah will help him. They don't understand. I'm thirsty. Father, I put my whole life in your hands. There was a storm that day. What of it? The point is, Jesus died, and that's the end of the story. No, Capella. It's just the beginning. Believe what you like, Christian. Jesus of Nazareth is dead. And unless you tell Nihilus what he wants to know, you will be too. All of you! I told you we had friends in high places. Don't worry, Zach. Father Circus friends are just what our rescue plan needs. If they live that long. Eat up, Baker. Our nihilists will punish us both. Let me finish the story you started earlier, and I'll eat every bite. The story was finished. Or do you hope to convince me your Jesus didn't really die that day? Oh, he died. But that doesn't mean the story is finished. A man named Joseph from the village of Arimathea went to see the regional governor. Because Joseph was an important member of the Jewish council, he was admitted. Yes, what is it? Governor Pilate, I have come to ask permission to bury Jesus of Nazareth. You speak as though he were already dead. He was crucified this morning. At first, Pilate was suspicious, 
But when he learned Joseph was telling the truth, he agreed to release Jesus' body so it could be buried. It was almost sunset when Joseph got back to Golgotha. They wrapped Jesus' body in linen sheets Joseph had purchased in the city and carried him to a nearby garden where a tomb had been prepared. There, you said it yourself. Jesus was buried, just like any other man. Yes, but there's more, you see. What's that? Huh? Don't just stand there. They may be trying to rescue the Christians. It'll take more than a few circus performers to break into this stockade. We knocked, but no one answered. Welcome. I hope you plan to stay a while. Where is everybody? Down here! Anna, don't worry. We'll get you out. How? Wish we had this fellow working for us all along. <laughs> to the stockade! Back to the wagon, everyone. Here they come. Hey, let's get them. Stop! Oh. Ah. I'll be glad when this show is over. Come on. To the wagon. I'll be right there. We'll meet you at Salim's ship. Good luck. <laughs> All right, let's go. Where's Ben? Baker? I warn you, Capella. If the baker escapes, it will cost you your life. I guess I won't hear the rest of that story after all. Ben! Hurry! No! Do you know what you're doing? Making sure you get to hear the rest of the story, that's what I'm doing. Are you crazy, misguided? Please don't kill me, Capella. Where are the other prisoners? They escaped, sir. All but the baker. I would have made it too if it weren't for Capella. It's a lucky thing for him you didn't. You have interfered with my plans for the last time, Baker. Take him to the Circus Maximus. The lions have waited long enough. Sure, we can break Ben out of the Circus Maximus before the lions get him? It'll be just like the time we saved Cyrus and the others from Giganticus. After we get to Shimadar, I hope we never have to rescue anybody again. You should have escaped when you had the chance. But then you never would have heard the rest of the story. How can you sacrifice your life to tell me a story? Maybe you'll understand when you hear how it ends. Thinking back to that day, Capella, you may remember a group of women, Mary from Magdala, Salome, and Mary, the mother of Jesus and James. They had been with Jesus in Galilee, and they were there the day he died. Maybe now the Jews can find themselves a real king. This man was a real king. Surely he was the son of God. By the time they reached the garden, it was almost sunset. Shabbat, the Jewish day of rest, was about to begin. The morning after Shabbat, the women returned to the garden. They had brought sweet-smelling oils to put on Jesus' body. But when they arrived at the tomb, 
they were surprised to find the large stone had been rolled away. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, the one who died on the cross. You won't find him here. He has risen. Go tell his disciples he will be in Galilee before you, and you will see him there, just as he said you would. And don't forget to tell Peter. Although they were afraid to tell anyone what they had seen, who would believe such a story? They decided to tell the disciples everything. And then the man said, he has risen. Just as they said. Why are you weeping? What are you looking for? Please, if you've carried him somewhere else, please tell me. I want to go and look after him. I want to... Mary? <gasps> Rabbi, teacher. Go tell my disciples that I'm going up to my father, to your father, to my God and your God. Mary, are you all right? What is it? I've seen the master. Baker, do you believe this story? I wouldn't be here if I didn't. The question is, do you? There has been a change of plans. Nero has ordered the Baker taken to the outskirts of Rome and crucified. But what about the Circus Maximus? The lions? Merely a decoy. The baker's friends will surely attempt another rescue. Only this time, they'll walk right into a trap. Please, Helena, stay away from the Circus Maximus. Seems security conditions have improved. This whole thing is my fault. <laughs> this country air wreaks havoc with my sinuses. Come, Nihilus, let's proceed. Why don't you do the honors, Capella? Consider it your reward for foiling the Baker's escape. Uh, uh, oh, do get on with it, man. I know you don't have a choice, Capella. It's all right. I'm going to be with my lord. Yes, but not today. Traitorous dog, you've just signed your death warrant. Death is no longer my enemy, Nihilus. You are. Easy. Consider this your dishonorable discharge. Justin, you drive, and don't forget Capella. Yes, sir. Look out! Room for one more. Some rescue, eh, Capella? Capella? Oh. Oh, no. At least I got to hear the rest of the story. There are many more to tell. And I expect you to keep telling them. All of you. You saved us, Capella. No. You saved me. It's all 
all your fault, Nihilus. I too. You and your ploys and traps. You couldn't trap a legless cat. I'll have those Christians in chains by sunrise. Oh, no, you won't. You have failed me for the last time. What's the meaning of this? I came to see an execution, and I'm going to get one. The next man who touches me dies. How dare you? I won't forget this, Nihilus. Mark me, your days are numbered. So are yours, Nero. So are yours. Safe journey, my friends. God be with you. And with you, Senator. Thank you for taking care of Capella. He'd be honored to know he's being buried in your family vault. After what he did for you, he is family. Ben, these are my parents. At last, I don't know how to repay you for all your help. It is we who owe you the debt. Oh, my. Take a good look, everyone. We won't be coming back. I can't believe we're finally on our way to Shemhadar. Me either. Are we almost there? This is the hill we choose to climb. This is our reason and our rhyme. Follow along, all will be well. Telling the stories we must tell. You'll have the strength, you'll take your part. You'll find you know each line by heart. One day you'll break out of your shell. Telling the stories we must tell When you're scared, never give in Trust in the words you've come to know Just take a breath, give them your voice And you'll hear just how much you know Though you're unsure, though times are tough You'll find you're more than strong enough You'll hear the call, you'll sound the bell Telling the stories we must tell Though you're unsure, though times are tough You'll find you're more than strong enough You'll hear the call, you'll sound the bell Telling the stories Though you're unsure, though times are tough, you'll find your more. 